Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. And now, celebrating 15 years of broadcasting, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Whether you're tuning in on the radio dial here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM or through our friends at WYADonline.com, we're glad you could be with us. Also, those tuning in through our online affiliates around the world, including our iHeartRadio family, we're glad you all could join us as well. It's hard to believe, but it was seven years ago when I first welcomed our next guest to this program. But recording artist Ziggy has definitely been busy in that time. He's released more music, actually made his first film, appearance. We'll talk to him about that. But also he has great new music that he's been able to introduce to the world. We'll let you all hear a bit of that as well. And if you're just hearing about Ziggy, we're going to share a little bit of his backstory, what it's been like for him to do what he loves. And now, of course, what he wants you to know about him as an artist. Ziggy, hello to you and welcome back to the program, man. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on, man? Hey, man. It's hard to believe it was back in 2011. Uh, the first time that you came on this program, man. And, you know, what you know, what has it been like for you, man, to kind of look at this past seven years and what you've been able to accomplish with your music? Man, it's been a blessing. Seven, eight. Back in 2011, I was fresh. I was real mm-hmm. fresh. And right now, it, it just a, it's, it's a big difference from back then with, uh, when, when you interviewed me to right now. So much has happened for, like, with me, other artists, major artists, and being in a movie with this on Netflix, you know, it's it mm-hmm. just been a big success. It's been a big blessing for me right now. I never, I never right. thought I'd be in a movie and making major moves that I, I've been making right now. So I'm blessed. Right. Is all I can say. Right. And Ziggy, I, I wanna, we, we're going to stick with this for a second because I want people to know, regardless of where they're listening to us from, our audience in the Yazoo City, Yazoo County are hearing this on the radio, but also our online audience around the world. We hear this too. There are so many people who will tell you what you can't do because of where you're from, what you look like, what you sound like. I mean, what has it been like for you just to be able to do what you love and to see the way how the doors have opened up for you? I mean, okay, I'll put it to you like that. A lot of people need to tell me, move up out of Mississippi. They were like, you, you, you is not going to make it being in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. And I, I, always, I always knew I had the gift. I always knew I had the voice. And I felt like it was a gift from God. But I always believed in myself. And I was just like, you know, I know I, know I can do it. You know, I just right. always believed in myself. And I feel like you can, you can be from anywhere in the world. If, if God just gave you the, gave you the talent, you can, you can make it if you're from Haiti. You can make it if you're from Jamaica, right. anywhere in the world. You know, right. you just, you know, surround yourself around positive people and get around the right people who can help you push your mood that you can make it from anywhere where you're from. And, you know, your love of music, Ziggy, has come to you honestly. We talked about back seven years ago how you remember mm-hmm. being seven years old and listening to Tupac and Master P with your dad. Yes. Now you fast forward to now people are able to listen to your music. I mean, what does that, that feel that's like? Crazy. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. I grew up on. Like I say, riding with my dad in the car, he was listening to Tupac me against the world. I was listening to Tupac real early. And, and and I'm a young guy, so I know a lot of people my age, you know, in my generation, some of them don't know Pac, some of them do know Pac. But I grew mm-hmm. up with my dad listening to Pac and Master P. You know, Master P inspired me to rap. And right. now, you know, I used to have all of my people listening to No Limit back in the day. Now I got everybody listening to Ziggy, and, and that feeling right there, man, it's, it's a wonderful feeling to me, you know. Right. I feel like I, 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 I'm touching people, not only right. just in Mississippi, but across the United States. I got people in Ghana really listening mm-hmm. to me. That's a whole right. other country. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you know, it, it's funny, you know, everything has a beginning, Ziggy. You know, we talked about you being seven and riding with your dad, uh, but it was seven years after that, at the age of 14, that you had talked about before when we, I first interviewed you, you got into a little bit of trouble. Uh, and you used to use writing as a way of sharing the things that you were going through. Now, a lot of people would turn inward. You then end up making a mixtape that you sold for $3. I mean, I mean, do you think you've right, always so kind of had kind of that entrepreneurial that. spirit in you? Yeah, I already had that in me. You know, I feel like, you know, the mistake that I made at 14, you know, I, I, I tried to turn a negative into a positive, and right. I just wrote about it. 
I just wrote about it like telling other people don't make that same mistake. And I sold it for three dollar across years in kind of high school. I feel like I went I feel like I went platinum then in high school. I had teachers and all the students buying it. You know, and so right now it is it, it, it's so different. Right. You know. It is different. It was back in high it, school. Right. And and it's all because of your being consistent. I think that's the big key. You know, yeah, yeah. there's so I many like people who yeah, and I was just going to say, there's so many people who start something, and because it doesn't take off tomorrow, they give up on it. What do you think has kept you but from you know, giving up? I mean, I had uh, Stanley Clerk. You know, he, he's uh, you know, he he's like another pop to me. You know, he is my pop. You know, he always used to tell me, it's not going to happen overnight, man. Yeah. It's not, no matter what you're doing, it's not going to happen overnight. And so I, I just kept going, I kept going, I kept going. And the more I kept going, the more I not kept giving up. You know, the more God was blessing me, I was meeting new, new artists, working with other people. But, you know, I had to find out for myself that Ziggy is not going to happen overnight. But just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Keep, believe in yourself. Don't, don't right. believe, you know what I'm saying? Don't put your trust in, man. Believe in yourself. Know, know that you got it. But it's not going to happen overnight, though. Right. And that is not an easy thing, Ziggy, as you know, because we, we want it to happen, right? We want it to happen right then. But one thing that has yeah, yeah, helped we be you. Yeah, we be wanting to happen right then, and then from a place right. where I'm from. I'm from uh, Mississippi. I'm not from the capital of Mississippi. The capital of Mississippi is Jackson. I'm from a small right. county that's called Yazoo County, which is Vaughn, Mississippi, exit 133. And around here, you know, I, I, I ain't no producers. It's not no rappers who have made it in the mood. No, none of that. So I feel like right now, I done gave hope to a whole lot of people from years right. we see that to years we kind of. You know, I done, right. I done been placed a lot of people that ain't been, so right now I'm really thankful. I'm really grateful. Right, as you should be, for sure. I want to say, for those who are just tuning in, he's on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome back recording artist Ziggy to our program. We were just saying it's been seven years since his very first appearance on our program. Uh, he's done a lot uh, in that time period, though, whether it is being able to open up for some great artists. We're going to talk to him more about that. But also release new music, including his new single, She'll Fool With It. You guys are going to be hearing that a little bit later, as well as finding out how you can stay connected with Ziggy. So, Ziggy, let's talk about the artists. I mean, you've gone from listening to these artists on the radio, watching their videos. Now you've been sharing the stage with them. How does that feel? Man, hey, Shire, it is a blessing. I ain't, I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought I'd be sharing the stage with ladies. And when, and when I mention the word ladies, I'm talking about Scarface, A-Ball and MJG, the, the bad chick out of Florida named Trina. I never right. thought about that a day in my life. So it had to have been God, because I ain't never thought about it. Yeah. You know, you know, people will e- easily tell us, uh, Ziggy, what we can't do. Back in 2011, mm-hmm. and I'll be referring back to the interview, because it's interesting to hear the things you said then, and, you know, and to kind of you know, compare to where you are now. One of the things we talked about are haters. I think all of us kind of know what that's like to have somebody who doesn't believe in it. You told me back in 2011, I feel like if you don't have haters, you aren't doing too much. You have to have haters to keep you going. Do you still feel like that's the case for you? That's a, that's a, that's a good question right now. That, that's a good question. I feel like, uh, nah, you don't got. I mean, you don't got to have hate. I mean, you never, you never know who hating on you. You never know. Right. But as long as you believe your, as long as you believe yourself, you gotta stay consistent and keep doing what you love to do. I love music with a passion. So if somebody hating on me, throw the street in the next neighborhood, I ain't gotta know about it. You know, I'm gonna keep doing it because <clears> I love music with a passion. I'm gonna keep staying consistent right. with. It. You know, back then right. I told you, you know, if, if you got somebody hating on you. You know, you really doing something good. If you ain't got nobody hating on you, you ain't doing nothing. But right now, I feel like, man, a hater, I ain't even thinking about no hater right now. I love it with a passion. Right. I'm going to keep on staying consistent with it. I'm going to keep on doing me. I'm thankful and blessed for the gift God gave, and I'm going to use it as a secret whip. Right. You mentioned uh, Stanley Clark earlier, who is, you know, a mutual mm-hmm. friend of the both of ours, and also, I should say, also works with GCO Promotion um, and helped us to set mm-hmm. up this conversation um, today. How important have having the right people around you? How important has that been for you, Ziggy, in getting to where you are now? I feel like Stanley Clark is the most important person, individual who came in my life and, and took me from point A to point B to point C to all alphabet. 
like real talk because he he came into my life and like I say he 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 is like my pops. You know I, I yeah. call him I call him you know what I'm saying my pops. He called me son, and yeah. uh, he took me. You know he believed in me. You know a lot of people is not gonna believe in you. A lot of people is not gonna see your vision and. He seen that he believed in me. He, he put everything that he had into me. He helped push right. me. You know, they say life is a gamma. He took that gamma with me. And so, you know, now all that played a good role. And now we're working with a uh, lady out of California, like G-Code Promotion. Everything is, you know, all the dots is connecting right now. And so everything right. going good right now. But standing clear here, you know, he he's really important in my life right now. You know, I want to yeah. sit down with no other labor in the industry without him being right there beside me. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. And I think that's an important thing, too. I want to talk a little bit more about association, Ziggy, because you are in a position now where you're an influencer. I mean, you have an influence on other people. You influence people through your music. You influence people by your example. I mean, how does that feel to know that people can look at you and look at what you've done and say, if Ziggy has done this, then I can do it, too? Hey, they're right there. It, it, it's a good feeling. Some sometimes I just sit in myself and let go. Like, well, I know they say we can't course and go, but I be like, man, I ain't, I ain't know all this was, right here was gonna come about. Like, like this week coming up, Cyrus, I got a meet and greet at Yazoo County High School. I got a meet and greet at Yazoo County High School. I'm meeting a basketball team, the same school I didn't graduate from ten years ago. They got me Rev Artist Ziggy being there for a meet and greet. Hmm. And then I got young people around in the neighborhood. They rapping, asking me, "What should I do? How should you know? You know what this come about? How they beat sound? They look up to me, so I feel like I gave the hood hope. So it's a feeling that it feel. I feel real good about myself. I feel right. so good about myself. I'm, I'm just thankful. Like I, I right. never, I, I never knew I had that bigger influence on the youngsters coming up. Mm-hmm. Well, it really so, shows us, you know, man. It's a good feeling. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it really shows us that all of us, man, can have an impact for sure. So let's fast forward. We've been talking a lot about the past. Let's fast forward to 2018. You just shared that great news, Ziggy. What you have coming up? You also have a new song, song called uh, "She a Fool with It." Talk to us about I the new single new and. Head. <laughs> yeah, so, so talk to us about the new single, man, and what it was like for you to record this song. Okay, uh, she a fool. It came about uh, Stanley Clerk. You know, he, you know, you know a guy named Eric Durkin. You know, from out of Flint, Michigan. You know, there's the whole G Code promotion. A lady named Courtney Brown. You know, she old G Code promotion, and uh, they they sent me a beat, and uh, you know. It had like that West Coast flavor and everything, but you know, I'm from the South. And so uh, a guy named Frank G produced it. You know, Frank G, if anybody know Frank G, he used to produce the Dayton family back in the day. Right. You know, he probably still do, you know, I don't know. But uh, they started to be from Frank G, you know, and they were like, you know, do what you want, you know, what you want to do with it. And I'm like, I right, do whatever you want me to do with the beat. And so by me making music that always about the scrubber, music about always about the streets, the dudes in the alley, the drug dealers, anybody. I said to myself, I don't want to just be that main artist that I always rap about that. I want to be a mainstream artist to rap about anything. And so as I, as I kept listening to the beat, she a fool when it came in my head because it, it was like a club beat. And I just came to myself like, she a fool with it. How she get loose with it? And I said to myself, I'm around with that because I don't just want to be a, one main artist that's always talk about the street, talk about, you know, right. I want to talk about anything that's going on in the world. You know, right. I want something for the club, from the street, when you're feeling sad, when you're mad, when you're feeling good, something to put you in the mood. And, you know, that's right. how I see a fool with it that came about, you know. Gotcha. Well, for those that have not had a chance to hear it, here is the radio-friendly version of She a Fool with It right here on Conversations Live. We'll be back with our final moments with Ziggy right after this. She a fool with it, how she get loose with it, give me that Girl, I know what to do with it She a fool with it, how she get loose with it, give me that Girl, I know what to do with it She bad and she booty, she love rockin' Gucci She finally get some of them women who play in the movie She got the ball trying to spit some cash on her Got a pretty face, plus she know she got some meat on her She like to do it with no hand when she twerkin' Think she find on Instagram, you ought to see her up in person She get on this to rock, she gon' drop it like it's hot She don't want you to think it's real, she just wanna make you watch She moving, I can tell she can ride it She give me one chance, I'ma show how I mean business Standing up feeling, knock the dust off that kitty Even sex with her makeup Plus she 
tatted up. Try to take who on the lower back, right above her butt. Ain't gon' lie, she cutting up. Man, that girl, she a fool with it. I ain't trying to be her man, I'm just trying to hit it. She a fool with it, how she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She a fool with it, how she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She a fool with it, how she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She a fool with it, how she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She can stand in one spot, make a booty roll. Bounce that ass up and down like a C4. She cold, she acting out on that pole. She know how to hit the stage and make her a bang roll. When you see her, she gon' keep a half this. With an outfit on that make you holler who's. She can walk up in them heels like a model with no problem. How them jeans fit that, make a wanna holler. She got some fingers, but she the baddest of them all. She kinda pissing cold with a sex. Whoa, she make a n turn your head when she pass through. She don't even look they way, cause she know that she the truth. She got all lines on her when she walk up in the club. When she hit the dance floor, watch that girl cut a rug. I ain't gon' lie, she cut up. Man, that girl, she a fool with it. But I ain't tryna be her man, I'm just tryna hit it. Yeah, she a fool with it. How she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She a fool with it. How she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She a fool with it. How she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. She a fool with it. How she get loose with it? Give me that. Girl, I know what to do with it. That again was she a fool with it by recording artist Ziggy. We're going to tell you guys here in just a bit how you can stay connected with Ziggy and all the great things that's been going on with him. Ziggy, I want to quote one more thing you told me seven years ago of the first time that I interviewed you. I asked you about your advice for others who were looking to go after their dreams. You told me this, keep going. Don't get caught up in anything that can hold you down. Let your haters motivate you to become better. Of course, again, you know, talking about the haters there, but the important message I think you left the seven years ago was the importance of keep going and not to let anything hold you down. I mean, you've mm-hmm. been able to do that. So what do you say to people about the importance of not allowing anybody or anything to hold them down when it comes to their dreams? Believe in yourself. Walk by faith and not by sight. I feel mm-hmm. like, okay. you know, don't don't let, you know, any, everybody, everybody's not going to like your music. Everybody's not going to like, it ain't just got to be music, sir. It'd be anything that right. you're doing, but you got to believe in yourself, though. You got to know you can do it. Walk by faith. You know, just start, don't put your trust in man to help you. You know what I'm saying? God say put your trust in him. And so, you know, that's what I go with right now. So I believe in myself. I feel like I can't be stopped. The only person that can stop me is a man of a God. But I, can, I, won't, I won't be in the position right now that I am if it weren't from the good law. So I put my faith and my trust and belief in the good law and myself, and I just run with it. Gotcha. That's why I tell any person right now, believe in yourself. Not, don't let your friend tell you this or let your friend put this in your ear. Believe in yourself. You got to know what you're capable of your own self. That's a great mm-hmm. reminder for all of us. Again, everyone, recording artist Ziggy has been our guest. You got to understand. Oh, go, go ahead, Ziggy. Success, oh, success do come with hate. Right. Mm-hmm. This is true. This is true. And sometimes it'll come from places you wouldn't even imagine. And I think that's the thing you have it, to be it, prepared it, 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 it for. Can come from the close, it can be the close. It can come from the closest that you're around. Right. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. But just staying but focused, man, I think that's though. it. Right. That is life. That's right. But it's a great reminder for all of us. Ziggy, you have a lot of great things that are coming up as we're wrapping up this year and getting up for the next year. Let our audience know how they can stay connected with you, man. Uh, you can uh, you can look me up on Facebook. I'm up on a Ziggy CBT. You can check me out on Instagram up on a Ziggy Zigzag underscore CBT. And uh, I got a new mixtape. It's dropping November 15th. It's called Real Talk Volume 1. Gonna be available on Spinrilla, uh, SoundCloud, Apple Music, all the websites. Then we get no thank God. We gonna we gonna have it on. You can look up on a Ziggy Real Talk Volume One. The mixtape will be available November fifteenth. All right, man. Well, Ziggy, congratulations to you, man. It's been great to be able to watch you, man, to watch you grow, to ro- to watch you thrive, and man, looking forward to our next conversation together, man. I appreciate. It. I thank you. 
Hey, man, glad to do it. Again, this is brought to you by our friends at G-Code Promotions, so make sure you guys are also staying connected with them as well. We thank them for helping to set up this conversation today. If you want to find out more information about G-Code, just go to their website at www.gcodepromotion.com. Again, that's www.gcodepromotion.com. If you all came in late, you missed part of the conversation with Ziggy, don't worry. Thanks to our online friends, you all can catch the replay right after we go off the air. The link is already available through our social media site, so hit over to facebook.com slash Cyrus Webb or go to twitter.com slash Cyrus Webb. If you click on the link there, you can listen to the show completely for free and share with your friends from there too. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. Let's make it a great one. <laughs>